This is Jeff Mucci with RCR Wireless News, and we're here with Nuance today with John West, who is a solutions architect for Nuance. John, what are you showcasing at this year's Mobile World Congress? We're showing uh, a couple of technologies, but mainly the focus seems to be interesting on Dragon TV. So what Dragon TV is, is the speech enablement of your television. So being able to say the simple things like command and control of the device, so channel up, channel down, volume up, volume down, go to BBC, for example, but then doing the more difficult things, which are uh, the, the, the search element. So if you've ever tried to search your uh, electronic programming guide your, your, uh, your, on, the, on the device using the, the cursors available on the remote control, it's quite frustrating. But being able to just say, find movies starring uh, Colin Firth playing this evening, and then having those presented to you uh, simplifies the whole process. And that's what we're doing, is uh, the, the natural language understanding elements of those, uh, making it easier for, for users to find content. Uh, in Dragon TV, um, when's it going to be commercially available? It's commercially available now, so we're in discussions with a number of TV manufacturers about uh, putting it onto their devices and how they're integrating it into, uh, into a number of places. So uh, here we're announcing uh, uh, an element with Panasonic, with their Vieras uh, t TVs in the United Kingdom, where they're adding some of the capabilities into their offering. And likewise, at CES, we announced a partnership with LG on their LG Magic Remote, where they have some speech capabilities on, on that device. But we're seeing a, uh, a, a huge uprising of, of interest uh, in, in this particular use of our speech recognition technology. Tell us about the history of uh, Nuance. So Nuance is, uh, uh, Nuance is a very acquisitive company, as you may know if you, if you, tr you follow us on the, on the market. But Nuance uh, is predominantly a speech recognition and an input company. So we're looking at uh, T9, for example, on your mobile phone is a Nuance technology. We recently acquired Swipe, which is the continuous touch te technology for entering text into your mobile devices. Uh, in the mobile space, we are in 90% of automobiles. So if you've got a, a Ford with Sync, for example, that's using our technology to do that. The, the vast majority of, uh, of cars uh, are doing that. And there, we're seeing those becoming connected. So people are now going to, in the near future, be able to send text messages from inside their car just by using speech recognition technology, keeping their hands on the wheel and their eyes on the road, being able to just say, send text to Jim, I'll see you in 15 minutes, I'm running a little late. And for that to be presented on the, uh, the header unit in the car and read to them, uh, for them to correct, should it need to be corrected, before they send it. Again, in a totally safe environment. Likewise, in Nuance, a third of our business comes from the healthcare in the United States for the transcription of medical records in the, uh, uh, in the hospital environment and the clinicians using our technologies. John, thanks for your time today. You're welcome.